Hello there, how are you doing? My name's Paul, I'm from Empathy Lab and that's the organisation that you've been working with over the last few months uh, to be able to look at stories uh, and develop your empathy skills and hopefully understand a little bit more about the thoughts and the feelings of the characters you've been reading about. Now, we asked you to do at the beginning of this project uh, a really sort of short survey about what your emotions and feelings were and a little bit about what the sort of things that you like to read. And thank you very much for doing that. We've got all of the data that you gave us from all of the schools across the cluster. Uh, and now we're sort of chugging through all that information and trying to work out what it all means. Now, we're about halfway through the project now. And what we'd like you to do is another short survey. And when you do that, you may look at the questions and think, well, hold on a minute. We've done all these before. These are the same questions that you asked us at the beginning of the project. And that's exactly right. Because what we need to know is we need to know if people's opinions change between the beginning, the middle, and the end of the project. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to fill in the same questionnaire as before. Okay, now you might look at it and think, well, hold on a minute, I think exactly the same thing I thought last time I did this questionnaire, and that's absolutely fine. Just tick the same boxes that you did before. If you look at some of your answers though and think, well, actually, maybe I said this last time and maybe now I think something different, then please do change your answers. It's entirely up to you. Please be as open and as honest as you possibly can be. We'll be asking you to do this same questionnaire at the end of the project, round about June time, as we're coming up to the summer. Now, your teacher will be able to give you a unique ID, and that basically means an Empathy Lab ID, and that's a number so that we can work out who's done what questionnaire all the way across the, uh, across the cluster, because there are, of course, hundreds of pupils that are going to be doing this, and we need to make sure that the right people have done the right questionnaires in the right places. Listen to your teacher, you won't be able to fill out the form unless you've actually got that unique ID, so make sure that you get that, your teacher will have that in their register. So, enjoy the questionnaire, thank you very much for taking part, and uh, we'll see you again in June for doing the final part of the journey. Thank you very much.